can see that I have the interior all put together now. And it went together pretty uh, easily. Just have to take time. And um, one other thing I didn't quite comment on, and I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, I guess you can. There's a uh, foam pad right there. That's if I can zoom in on there. You can see that uh, not all trucks have that foam insulation pad. And that can actually came with uh, my 7.3. Make sure that that's installed. Um, before I uh, ran that, that uh, sound baseline, I did not have those in there. So that also includes as part of that, that uh, after effect uh, sound file. I really don't think it made too much of an effect, but nonetheless, uh, uh, if you want to reduce the in cabin noise, you know, go ahead and try to find those insulating uh, fender well uh, uh, sound insulators. So I've got one on the left fender and one on the right fender. So make sure that those guys are in there if you, if you can. Or for that matter, you can even fabricate your own. So they're pretty much uh, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. You just have to go in through the, the plastic inner fender to uh, put those on in. And um, I think that's pretty much it. The, the next step really is, is, is to uh, just go over the, the sound after and you know, see how it sounds. So that's it. Well, we've went on through and, and made the improvements to the sound, uh, proofing the cab uh, with all the, the uh, second skin uh, sound deadening. We put the insulite insulation in there. And we also included the uh, sound proofing material from uh, the, the cars and from the salvage yard. So all that material on in there, you know, the, here's where the rubber hits the pavement. Did we make any difference? Well, just like before, we have our before uh, uh, data, which is uh, uh, in our after data. So the before is in the red and the after is in the blue. And just like before, we have uh, hundreds of observations in here and we're looking to see if we see a, a discernible difference between the two. And just like before, we are taking the moving average to kind of smooth out the data. Uh, really, it's very noisy, and I say that in, in terms of there's a lot of uh, variation in the data. So we're ju tr just trying to smooth it on out and take a 10-point rolling average. So this is taking uh, E4 to, I should say, E4 to E13. So it's taking those points and averaging. We'll get 78.9. Same thing for the next one, E5 to E14, and so forth. And for the after sound proofing, same thing, F4 through F13. And the next one is F5 for F14. So we're getting the smooth data for columns H and I, which are both based on the columns E and F. So if we take a look here at the plot of the data, and let me go ahead and zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that Let's scroll up a little bit, all right, so that we have uh, the same thing before, our shift points, you know, we're going from uh, second gear to third gear, just this is the before, we're really varying, uh, you know, uh, from really from 80 dBs all the way up to 90 something uh, when we go through our shifting, and then we get our steady state, which we identified early at about 0.400 to 0.700. So we're looking at the steady state dBs for the before, and we're do doing the same thing with our after sound proofing, which is our blue here. We've seen, seen the same shift points. We hit this speed of, uh, again, 55 to 60 miles an hour for both data sets going down the same road. And, um, and so we're getting our steady state conditions here from 400 to 700. So when, if we look at the arithmetic here, the before was 86.1 decibels. The after was 82.7 decibels. So there is a net reduction of 3.3 decibels. And in terms of the sound, um, you get a 50% reduction in sound for every 3 dBs that you reduce the, 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 uh, the sound by. So there is a significant improvement in, the, in reducing the in-cabin noise. And I think if you do some other searches online, you'll find that a 3 dB is something on the order of like a, a like a 20% reduction in the amount of energy. Um, so bottom line is, is there is a discernible improvement in the uh, reducing of the of the 
the sound in the cab and it, it is definitely direction in the, in the right way um, so that at least gives you some idea of, of if you make these sort of sound improvements through insulating and sound decking material uh, you can you know hopefully achieve something like a 3db reduction that's it i hope you enjoyed it